So hi and welcome to Questacon hi. Science Time. I'm Dion. And I'm BJ. And today we're talking about sun and moon. Let's go. Let's see. Wake up, sun and moon. It's science time. It's science time. Wake up, skeleton. It's science time. It's science time. Welcome everyone. Today we're talking about the sun and the moon. Yeah, so can anyone tell me um, what do you see? We might be talking about rockets a little bit later as well, definitely. And, and, um, what other things? Uh, the moon and the sun. I know. Mm. What um, do you think? And when it's the hungry the feather stars. Yeah, we're going to talk all about the stars as well. Yeah. Now, what can we see in the sky at, in the daytime? Can anyone tell me? What do you see in the, the sky? Sun. The sun. Sometimes you see the moon as well. What other things do you see in the sky? Yeah. Stars? stars. Do, you see, do you see stars at daytime? No, you don't see st da stars in the daytime. But what else do you see in the sky in daytime? Clouds. Clouds as well. Well done. So you see lots of things in the sky in daytime. The sun comes out and the moon. It does. The sun comes out and the moon as well. So do you, think, do you think the sun is hot or cold? Hot. It's hot, isn't it? It's very, very hot. That's why it keeps us nice and warm on our planet here. Yeah. So what we're going to have a look at, we're actually going to have a look at this here. Now, this is a very special planet. Does anyone know what's this planet called? Thank you very much for that. What's this planet called? Um, Earth. It's Earth. And do we live on Earth? Yeah. We do, don't we? We live on Earth. Now, Earth has got lots and lots of countries all over it, as you can see. Now, does anyone know what country do we live in? What country Canberra. Australia. Australia, but we live in the city, Canberra. So we live in Australia. Now, if I turn my Earth, can anyone see Australia? Say when you can see Australia. Can you, can you see? There's Australia, so that's where we live. And we'll find Canberra as well, which is over here. Is that? It's pretty cold down there, though. So we live up here in Australia. But we're going to stick. This is a penguin place. There is a penguin place down there. Well done. But we're going to stick this little man here on Canberra. So that's where we are here at Questacon, and we're going to pretend this is us. We're going to pretend this is us, and that's where we are. So in all the world, we are right here. This is me, maybe right here. So. That might be you as well. It might be you as well. Now, what we're going to have a look at, we're going to, we're going to get a sun now and we're going to start shining the sun. Now, if the sun is shining in Australia, is it daytime or nighttime? What do you think? It's daytime. Sitting on your bottom is for me. Sitting on your bottom, Alex. It is a little, per little country there as well. Now, what do we see in the sky at nighttime? What do you see? The moon. Sometimes you might be able to see a rocket. And Buzz Lightyear, you might be able to see as well. What else do you see at night time? Stars. Yeah, stars, twinkly stars as well. So I have a moon right here. What shape is our moon? Round. It's round, isn't it? So our, our moon is nice to see. It is a bit like a circle, isn't it? Like an O. It's like a banana. It's a little bit like a banana. It can be a bit like a banana as well. It's not like this. No, it's definitely not like that. It's going to be just like this, which is our moon right here. So sitting on your bottom for me. So we've got our moon here, which is round. What shape is our planet Earth? Round. It's round as well, isn't it? And what happens is our moon actually goes around our Earth. That's why we can see it at night time, but also sometimes during the day as well. So at the moment, you can see the sun is shining on Australia. So it's daytime in Australia. What sort of things do you do during the day? What sort of things do you do at the, in the daytime? What do you we do? Sleep sometimes. Sometimes you might sleep during the day if you're feeling a bit lazy. Then we can. You can have a bit yeah. of a nap. But yeah. what about? Um, does anyone go play in the playground during the daytime? Yeah, yeah that's no, a lot of fun. You might bump. Well, you will bump into people during the day because there are lots of people about in the day. Yeah. Now, um, what happens is, this, what happens to the at sun time. at night time? What it happens? Goes to down what do you think? Bed. It, it goes to bed. It gets oh, so it goes to bed. We don't really see it. it goes away, doesn't it? It goes away. We can't see it in the sky during the night time. And the reason that is, is because the Earth is moving. So the sun stays in the same spot. Even the, even the sun has a circle. Yeah, the sun is a circle as well. Well done. But what we're going to have a look now is that the Earth actually starts to spin, as you can see. So look, the and sun, you can see the sun is shining on the Earth. 
but the earth is moving. So you can see the sun is shining on the earth and in Australia it's getting to be evening and now you can see the sun is still shining on this side but Australia's on this side of the world. So if there's no sun shining on Australia, is it daytime or nighttime do you think? Nighttime. It's nighttime, exactly. So it's nighttime in Australia but if you have a look on the other side of the world in places like Brazil, the sun's shining so it's daytime. So when we're sleeping in Australia, people in Brazil and other countries on the other side of the world, they're going and having lunch, maybe playing in the playground, doing all sorts of different things. Yeah, the astronaut might also come from these sorts of places as well. But what happens is the world still keeps spinning, still keeps spinning, and it's going to spin so much until Australia is going to be on the other side again. So now it's daytime in Australia again, and what time of day is it? Is it daytime or nighttime on the other side of the world? Nighttime. It's nighttime. So where the sun isn't shining, it's nighttime. Very well done. So where does the sun go when it's nighttime for us? Where do you think? Bedtime. Well, bedtime, but also to the other side. Oh, it, it shines on the other side of the world. It goes to so the at, other side of the world. At nighttime, the sun shines on the other side of the world when we don't have any sun because it's nighttime. Good. Now we're going to have a look at our moon now. Now what we're going to see is. This moon, it's round, and it goes round in a circle around the Earth. But the Earth also goes in a round circle around the Sun as well. So what we're going to do, BJ is going to be I'll, the Earth, I'll be the Earth, and also a moon as well. Oh, lovely. And I'm going to be the Sun now. So we're going to get the torch over here. Uh, I'm going to be the Sun. There we are. So I'm the Sun now. So the Earth spins around. And then it goes, the moon goes around the Earth, and they both go Spin around. around the Sun. The sun. So you can see the earth spins around the sun and the moon is always spinning around the earth. Wow. All the time. Are going round. And that's why it changes from day to night time and that sort of thing. <laughs> now, we talked about the moon being different shapes before. Someone said it was a bit of a banana shape, which is true. The moon can be a banana shape. What other shapes can the moon be in the sky? Um, what other shapes? A, um, a circle. A circle as well. What other sort of shapes do you think? Well, I've actually, I've actually got a picture here. This shows us all the different shapes of the moon. So we've got our full moon, which is when the moon is really nice and round. Can you see here? Yeah. We've also got our banana moon, which is called a crescent moon. Can everyone say crescent can you moon? Say that word? Crescent. 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 That's, That's that means that the um, moon is in a bit of a banana shape. Now, has anyone ever gone out at night time to see no moon at all? Have you ever been out at night where you can't see any moon? You might have not seen any moon at night time, and that might be because it's a new moon. Now, the reason the moon changes shape is because of the sun. The reason we can see the moon is because the sun is shining onto it. So BJ, if you could oh, be the yes, sun yes, again, yes, this time we're going to start off with the sun shining on the front of our moon. Now you can see the front of the moon is all shiny, all and that's right. because the sun is shining on it, and we can see the whole moon. This would be a full moon. Now, what happens is that the sun or the moon also move around so that sometimes only the sun is only shining on half the moon. So this means we can only see half the moon in the sky because the sun is only shining on half of it there. We can only really see the bits of the moon that the sun shines on. And sometimes the sun is shining on the back of the moon. And this means we can't see any of the moon. Even though the sun is shining on the back here, we only see the front and it's got no sunlight on it. And that means we can't see the moon. There we are. So we have lots of things to look at in science time today. So if everyone is ready, ready, set, go! Explore the room, see what you can find. Have some fun. having a play, let's go have a closer look at the phases of the moon. Let's go. 
Hi there, behind me is Questacon's Clockwork Universe. I like to call it the moon clock because you can see the different phases of the moon as they change. Let's have a closer look. Take a close look at the moon. Do you remember the moon looks different shapes because as it moves around the earth, different parts of the moon are lit up by the sun. The wonderful thing about this moon clock, we can see it all happen really quickly. So the whole face of the moon is covered in shadow. But as the shadow moves across the face of the moon, a little bit of the moon is lit up by the sun. We call that the crescent. And a little bit more is lit up until it's a half moon. And a little bit more until it's a full moon. The whole face of the moon is lit up. And the shadow will keep moving across. Here it comes, covering up a little bit of the moon. And now it's a half moon again. And now it's a little crescent of a moon until the whole moon is in shadow again. Now this goes over and over and it changes. Every night the moon looks a little bit different. Take a look at the moon tonight. I wonder what it looks like. Will it be a crescent? Will it be a half moon? Or maybe even a full moon? Let's go back and see what the kids are doing at science time. So we had lots and lots of things to th think about, talk about and explore in science time today. But now it's time to see what we can take home with us. Now boys and girls at home, you can also take some things home. First of all, we have got an, a parent information sheet. So this parent information sheet will give you some information about some stuff that you can do at home, some activities and also some information, which is lots of fun. But for everyone here, we've also got some colouring in to do as well. But this one is what we've got here. We've got our sun and moon colouring in. So what can you see? What's this big thing in the middle of the picture? Sun. It's our sun. Well done. And what's this other thing here? What's this thing here? That's our Earth. Actually, that's our Earth. And what's the smaller one next to the Earth? Moon. Our moon. Well done. So that's all our round moon, Earth and sun. We can colour in that all those different colours. But now it's time to say goodbye. So everyone could have a look at the boys and girls at home. Can everyone wave and say goodbye? goodbye. We'll see you next science time. Questacon Science Time is held at Questacon in Canberra, Tuesday to Friday during school terms. Bookings are essential. For further information, go to our website at questacon.edu.au. See you next Science Time.